Hi guys, Happy New Year! Welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. And in today's short, short episode, I'm going to talk about how you can fix your mini sewing machine not sewing. So if you've got a mini sewing machine that refuses to sew, I'm assuming you must have done um, one of two things. You must have gone either on Google or onto YouTube and looked up different ways of how you can fix your sewing machine not sewing. And chances are you might have found out that most of the suggestions include things like oh, re-thread your top thread or change out your bobbin thread and re-thread the whole thing again or try changing the needle. Make sure your machine is clean and fluff free and make sure your thread is of high quality. Stuff like that, you know? And you being a very sensible person, I know you must have gone through all those checks and yet your mini sewing machine refuses to sew properly. It keeps sti skipping stitches, okay? It keeps giving you trouble no matter what you do. So I've got one little trick up my sleeve that I discovered by accident. And if you watched any of my earlier episodes, you will know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, here I am, and I'm just gonna quickly show you what that is. So let me first show you what I've done. I've got a black thread on top. I've got a white bobbin thread, just so we're clear on what individual threads are doing as we're sewing. I'm gonna start sewing this little piece of felt just because it's easier to see what we're doing. First, I'm going to demonstrate the sewing machine stitching perfectly, and then it's going to start playing up. And then I'll show you the super quick trick that you can do to fix that glitch. Okay, here we go. So the three steps, thread, press. So I'm going to press now and we're going to sew. Here we go. Okay, so I finished sewing a line of stitches and as you can see the top threads came through perfectly and at the bottom as well the white stitch is perfect. Now what happens if you double it up? Because usually when you're sewing you double two fabrics up and sew them together. Now let's see if the sewing machine behaves itself. So again, thread, press, sew. Thread, press and now I sew. Let's see if it's behaving well now. So hmm, the top thread seems to be good. So do the bottom stitches but now look what's happening right there. Do you see right there? It skipped a stitch there. Okay, um, I'm going to make my sewing machine misbehave again, okay? And I'm gonna do this rather deliberately. Okay, so I'm gonna take another piece of felt and by its nature, felt is thick. Even the thinnest of felt can be fairly thick. And I'm gonna press a piece of batting in between these layers, just so it's really thick, okay? I'm not even going to iron this thing down. It's gonna be one chubby sandwich of felt and batting. Okay, again, going by the principle of thread, press, and sew. We lift the presser foot even higher than normal, just to sandwich everything together. Now I lower the needle, and I'm gonna sew. Let's see if it copes. And now, this is what I was talking about. Look at those ugly stitches. It has skipped at least five or six stitches right there. I hope you can see it. I've got awkward lighting. I'm sorry for that. Um, loads of skipped stitches, okay? This is not acceptable performance, okay? But what do you do if you've got this sewing machine, you want to make it work, okay? What do you do? Now here's the trick, okay? You put your thingy majig, your project, back under the presser foot as before. 
nothing fancy there lower the needle and now you just need something long and pointy okay and this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press down on the presser for gently okay not very hard because it's a little machine you have to be gentle with it just increase a little more pressure onto that presser foot right there and let's see what it does now Can you see that without pressing those were the kind of stitches the machine was do doing and once I started to press look at that that has reduced significantly okay it's still not perfect but we're moving in the right direction can you see that can you see the difference between the top and the bottom let's try that again and I'm gonna try pressing down even harder this time without actually breaking my machine, fingers crossed. There we go. Okay, that's the third line, let's see. Oh, look at that, perfect stitches. Do you see? It This has happened right in front of your eyes, okay? Top stitch or top line, no pressure, okay? The, we let the machine do its natural stuff. Second line, we press down gently on the presser foot uh, with a pair of small scissors and immediately the performance changed. Third line, to adjust that, I actually pressed down even harder on the little presser foot right there and look what the machine did. Absolutely perfectly beautiful stitches, okay? Look at that, okay? So if you're struggling with your mini sewing machine, do this. Grab a small pair of scissors or anything sharp and pointy and gently increase the pressure onto your project, okay? And that's going to help your machine so better. I hope this has been helpful, guys. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. I'm a brand new channel and your support is so, so appreciated. Also, check out my blog. It's called unicrafts.com. And slowly and gradually, I'm trying to build up a reservoir of photographs uh, of the tutorials that I've covered here, okay? So it's still under development, but I'm getting there slowly, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye!